You know, the good news is our grandchildren are going to be gorgeous. The bad news is they ain't going to be able to do shit. <laughs> they're not going to have skills. They're not going to have integrity. They're not going to have wisdom because that's not the focus, right? And where your focus goes, that that's what grows, right? So, and you wonder why for Gen Z, for Gen A even, they are so obsessed with looks maxing. Right? Like our generation, generations before us were obsessed with being the smartest in the room, being the most capable, being the most skilled in the room. But if you are paying attention to TikTok, to social media, this generation is now obsessed over who's the most beautiful. These are questions we have to ask ourselves. And like I said, th this show is such a great example of that. You see uh, the inconsistencies from men and women. Smile for me, the muscles. Yeah, okay. Fitness trainer, I'm a cheerleader, professional okay. cheerleader. Okay, I like so. that. That's dope, that's dope, I like that. Mm. Okay. I like you. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Damn, I was even talking to you like And right now I'm picking on women, but I'm gonna get to the men. <laughs> You'll see a woman say, uh, you know, the reason I popped your balloon is because you have dreads. And then the dude she matches with has dreads. You know, the reason I popped your balloon is because, you know, I don't like your shoes. The dude she matches with has similar shoes. I, I, I popped your balloon because you didn't look, you know, dressed to kill or whatever in accordance to uh, what this show is. The dude she matches with or the dude that she likes the most, he, he came in an athletic fit. You know, kind of touching back on the looks matching piece, like we overindulge in and at first it used to be money you know women don't want a man without money and then you see homeless dudes get pussy you see a guy <laughs> in dc who's homeless say listen i'm looking for somewhere to stay and was it 1500 women <laughs> reached out to him willing to give him room and board so it's not money who oh, me the person who helped him obviously my life forever changed when i went on that walk to the grocery store and i got stopped for tea I made a GoFundMe for you. They had to raise over $150,000. <laughs> then I ended up committing to a TV show. When I got back, I literally got a call from the producer. The attorney hops on the phone and she was like, we really appreciate coming on the show, but unfortunately we cannot air it due to criminal history. And I was caught off guard. And from that point, things would never be the same. Hey, Sanai, do you have a statement? Did you know, are you aware of criminal history? And I'm like, what's going on? I literally just landed back in DC from LA and I'm so confused. Oh yeah, we have an exclusive with the lady and she's coming forward and we're gonna air at 9 p.m. and she's saying that do you have a comment do you have a comment i'm just like what is going on so i ended up making no comment because i didn't know i just found out about this and i'm like what's going on now let's tell the truth guys i mean if if watching chris brown charge your girlfriends a thousand dollars to take a picture with him if if that didn't tell you that it's not about money like i don't know what else what else will and now the, the emphasis is looks maxing. If you grow a beard that connects, if your hair is curly, if you're, if you mew enough and your jawline protrudes out, um, you're gonna get women uh, throwing themselves at you, which is partly true, right? You get more at bats, right? It's kind of like, you know, if you ever play pickup basketball or pickup football, if you are the big muscular athletic looking dude, you might get picked first, but if you trash, they're not gonna throw you the ball anymore. And eventually world will get around that this nigga, he looks athletic, he got the fit, but he's trash. And I know you guys have seen like some dudes who are objectively handsome. Like even as a dude, you could look at him and be like, you know what, nigga, you handsome. But he gets no women, he gets no pussy, no play, no nothing. Because at the end of the day, it's about those intangibles. And my issue since day one with you know, certain YouTubers has been like, we're not spending enough time talking about those intangibles. You know, but see, a lot of women get high. He, he ain't cute. If you got a cute man, I'm going to tell you something. You ain't got <laughs> Cute ain't <laughs> Get you a regular looking ass man that just look all right. You know, somebody, you know, you might have to explain a couple things about it. But you know, he look all right, but you, you ain't, cute men ain't. I don't even have cute friends. All my friends is ugly. Cause I like ugly ass men. 
because you can count on their ass. They show up, they do what the they say they're going to do. You know, they reliable. Some pop off, they hard. They come with it. You know, we start scrapping, you ain't got to worry about this punk ass time. I'm like, uh uh. What the you doing? You see what's happening over here. We got we to gotta come out, isn't it? Ugly ass men is best. We're not spending enough time talking about the fact that every woman at some point has or will break every single rule that she claims to have for a dude she likes. If you're fortunate enough as a man, whether because you have gang, you're handsome, whatever the case may be, or you happen to be in the right place at the right time, right situation, you've experienced that. You've experienced a woman who otherwise wouldn't go after some aspect of you. You were broke and she still gave you play. You were short and she still gave you play. You were ugly, you were out of shape, whatever the case may be, and she still gave you play. But again, we're not focused on, okay, what are those intangibles? We're just going to make sure that the exterior looks good. I remember, um, you know, to touch on politics, you know, I'm a huge fan of uh, Cornell West. He's obviously not going to win, but if I vote, I'm voting for him. I went to one of his rallies and he was talking about how, you know, certain people and in the context he was talking about was politicians. He said, you know, basically people talk a good game, but there's no substance there. And he, he said this quote that I, I love. He said, peacocks strut because they cannot fly. Peacocks strut because they cannot fly. And, you know, when you look at social media, when you look at the type of hyper masculinity, alpha masculinity that's being glorified and celebrated, it's peacocks. It's peacocking. But it's not, it's not, it's not remotely sustainable. But again, we're not having that part of the nuanced conversation. We're just talking about, okay, let me rack up the amount of pussy that I get in my lifetime as if it means anything. It doesn't. Let me rack up. Back in the day, it was racking up phone numbers. And then you realize, yeah, you got 50 phone numbers, but only 10 of them responded consistently. So what, what was the point in the time and effort that it took to accumulate all these fruitless uh, at-bats? Hey, if you've made it all the way to the end, please click that like and subscribe button. Also share this with somebody that you think would gain value from it. Click the thumbnail at the top if you want the full video. Click the thumbnail at the bottom if you want a video that's closely related to this. Again, like, share, subscribe. Appreciate you guys for watching. Check out some more of our content. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.